Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to our first call, Contemplations of 2021. And we're delighted to introduce uh, Kirsty McHugh, who's joining us today. Now, Kirsty, do you want to just introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, Katie. It's lovely to see you. And uh, so I'm Kirsty McHugh, and I'm co director of our Centre for Robert Brown Studies here at the University of Glasgow. I'm a graduate of the university many years ago, too many years ago to, uh, to admit to. Um, and I've been working here for really just about 20 years, actually, coming up um, and doing lots of great projects uh, around Scottish literature where I work and particularly Scottish song culture, Scottish music and obviously lovely projects that I've managed to do with you and with the Chapel Choir uh, to date and hopefully many more in the future. So those of you that regularly watch these uh, these little concerts will know that we always try and record something new um, whenever we can. And we really wanted to do a new thing uh, for this particular Burns concert because we do have a, a long and established tradition of singing um, Burns songs with the choir, obviously be partly because of the, the strong links at Glasgow University uh, and partly because they're really great songs and there are lots of fantastic arrangements. Um, this I'm not going to claim this is a fantastic arrangement. This is a new arrangement of mine. Um, but it's of a, of a song that Kirstine suggested we might look at called... Uh, called oh where i on panassas hill um is it what, what when was this is this song date from Kirsten? so this song is a song written probably around 1788 which is just the summer that burns marries jean armor mm -hmm. so burns has of course a bit of a reputation as a ladies man and uh, we won't go into that but there's one constant there's one constant muse and love in his life and that is jean armor the woman that he married to to be honest, deserves everybody's greatest respect um, because she was a, a tremendous woman and we need to we need to learn more about her really even, even even this day. But he wrote two beautiful songs for her that summer. They had just got married and they took over um, Ella's Land Farm down on the edge of the Nith, the River Nith. It's a very beautiful spot. If you don't know it, it's one of the Burns um, houses that is open to the public and um, run, run by the Ella's and Trust. It's so well worth a visit. It's just magic. And he wrote a lot of songs when he was there and then he moved to Dumfries where, where he died. And that was the time when he was working for his two song editors. So both of these songs actually appeared in print quite early on in the Scots Musical Museum, the first big project that Burns was involved with. Um, and the nice thing about this song, I mean, some people say it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit vapid. It's a bit, you know, a bit airy and not really genuine. But this one I rather like because Burns is imagining the muses on Parnassus Hill and with Helicon's stream. And he's looking to all this kind of inspiration from, you know, from Greece and from, you know, the Grecian muses. And he's saying, well, I don't have that. I don't have that. And I don't know Greek and all that stuff, which he's always complaining about. Um, but I have Parnassus Hill, which is the hill not far from New Cumnock. Um, it's just it's about 25 miles from Ella's land and I have the river Nith and that's my inspiration and I have you and my love for you and that's going to generate you know poetry in me is what he says and it's just it's just a beautiful love song based around those that that kind of notion. Beyond the sea and beyond the sun Till my last weary sand was run Till then and then I love thee oh, I am yours and 
Tell us a little bit more about the Centre for Burn Studies and the sort of the sort of work you're doing. So we put forward um, plans to launch the centre, which we did in 2009, and um, myself and Jerry Crothers, who are the co-directors of the centre, uh, have worked together since then. Jerry is now the general editor of the new Oxford collected works of Robert Burns. We're just about to publish the fourth volume of that. But we've managed also with wonderful funding from the Arts and Humanities Research Council, I should say, which is great. And there's a team still working on Burns's correspondence and poetry. Mm. Um, so we've done that, but we've also managed to do quite a lot of other exciting projects like the Burns Choral Settings, for example, uh, small little projects at Glasgow, but also other broader uh, projects on Burns's correspondence and um, on various aspects of the bibliography of Robert Burns, which is really complicated. And all our projects are on our Centre for Robert Burns Studies website. Um, one of the other projects that um, yeah, I know took, took place uh, uh, at the centre, because I was involved in it, was the uh, Jolly Beggars. And we're going to play a couple of songs from that just now. Um, but do you want to just uh, tell us a bit about, about that? This was one of the, the most exciting things I've done uh, with you guys, because... Um, I've just finished editing Robert Burns's songs for his second song editor, George Thompson. And Thompson is the man who, in the early decades of the 19th century, marries Burns's text. Burns is dead by this time, of course, because mm. he dies in 1796. But, but he's given a whole load of songs to Thompson, and Thompson marries them with arrangements of the, the what we refer to as traditional tunes, the, the tunes from the, the collections, um, for small chamber ensemble. Um, so for, for voice and piano and usually violin and cello and they're lovely arrangements by people like Haydn and Beethoven and some people who are, who are listening will have heard some of these at Glasgow across the years because Marjorie Rycroft mm -hmm. edited the Haydn setting several years ago. So it's it's been a long project uh, running at Glasgow and I've been working on that. And in fact, my volume, which is volume four of the collected works of Robert Burns is just about to come out in February. So it's it's really just coming to fruition. But Thompson was the first person, as far as we've been able to ascertain, who published Burns's cantata, The Jolly Beggars, with music. And the music for it was produced by Sir Henry Bishop, who at that time was a big, big musical figure in the London theatre scene. He was at Drury Lane, he was at Covent Garden, variously arguing with him over contacts. Uh, he was at Vauxhall Gardens. So he was a huge figure in terms of, um, of British music at that time and really interested in national songs. So he was very keen to do this and no modern performance had ever taken place of this cantata. Um, it, it then Thompson only published it once uh, in 1818 and then he never published it again. It was really difficult even to find the instrumental parts but we found them in East Ayrshire uh, in the Burns Monument Centre and um, thanks to them for allowing us to, to use them and we were able to reenact and pull, pull together the first modern performance of it and to video it with, with help from our Arts and Humanities Research Council grant that we had. And it was an absolute highlight for me of the, of the whole project to hear that I'd come across it many years ago and always uh, hoped that we'd be able to do a performance. So I was really chuffed and it was great fun, wasn't it? It was brilliant. The following two extracts are taken from our most recent performance of The Jolly Beggars back in January 2020.
let us skate, and infant frosts begin to bite. E Nachtgeteen, a merry core or randy gangrel buddies. And Pussy Nancy's held the score. They drank their aura duddies. We quaffin' and laughing, they rant it to the sign. We jumpin' and thumpin' the very gurgle cry.
most exciting new projects is mapping the Global Burns Supper, which is the big project we've launched this January. And if anybody's hosting a Burns Supper or attending a Burns Supper virtually, because that's how it's going to happen this year, they can send us details and a picture and actually go onto our global map um, with the, hash, the hashtag virtual burns night. So we're delighted to hear from anyone, but that's the big project that's been running in the last year and it will run through till next year. And it's amazing to see where all these burns, mm -hmm. we have this fabulous interactive map and we can see burn suppers and where they've taken place across the last year and hopefully how, the, how they're going to be managed in the pandemic as well. So really exciting project. And and the burn, the burn supper thing, I think it sounds like a lovely idea, particularly, uh, and it's all an interesting way of actually um, uh, recording what's happening in this in this strange time and hopefully yeah. we'll be able to look back in the not too distant future to, to yeah. with interest about what we were doing. Absolutely, because of course when the project was planned and it's funded, we have a wonderful friends in the United States who, who have, have gifted us a, a lovely sum of money and we've been using that, the Shaw Fund, uh, to support uh, you know postgraduate students working in the field of Robert Burns, but also this particular Burns Supper mm -hmm. project. And um, when it was planned, of course, we had no idea that COVID was going to hit. So this was going to be quite a different kind of thing. But now, as you say, actually, it provides us with a, an amazing opportunity to see how Burns, how people are connecting and what they're doing in their own homes as well, which, yeah. which you know, for me, that's the way to do it. Burns Supper is in your own home. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think, I hope that that will sort of generate interest in more people just stopping reading some poetry by Burns and by other poets that they like. Um, and just having a really nice evening together you know yeah oh great well I'm looking forward to looking forward to seeing that and we'll make sure we put the link at the end of this video as well and maybe in the comments okay. below